Houston Station on Space to Ground. Space Mechanic is an awesome job title. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. Some important repair work dominated the week for Expedition 50. Commander Shane Kimbrough worked across several days replacing parts in the oxygen generation system, a key component of the station's life support. It's back up and running and operates by using a technique called electrolysis to split water into its base elements, hydrogen and oxygen, with the oxygen getting pumped into the station's atmosphere. It's not the only way to get the vital gas to the crew though, with the Russian Electron system, storage tanks and resupply through spacecraft like Progress all supplying oxygen. Back on Earth, the next crew is almost ready to launch. Peggy Whitson, Oleg Novitsky and Tomas Pesquet arrived in Baikonur for their final preparations before flight. The trio went through the traditional checkouts of their flight suits and launch vehicle, which was encapsulated, and planted trees at the Cosmonaut Hotel. Their launch is on track for November 17th. The Sally Ride EarthCam is giving students the chance to see their planet in a whole new way. This week marked the 55th mission for the project that enables students around the world to learn about Earth from the unique perspective of space. Middle school students get to request images of specific locations on Earth and then get to study them involving subjects from geography and science to art. Head over to earthcam.org to learn more and see how your class can sign up for the next mission. This week's question comes from Marie Henriksen who wants to know how long the meteor experiment will last and where she can follow along. It'll be around for a while and brushing up on your Japanese will help you follow along. Right now, Meteor is scheduled to continue until September 2017, with more videos of space rocks burning up in our atmosphere coming down all the time. Go to the URL below to see the Japanese Chiba Institute's Planetary Exploration Research Center and dozens of videos of meteors streaking across the sky. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.